This is pretty much the last big unexplored basin in the whole world. This 3D seismic data will reveal geology that nobody's ever seen. This is really doing what BP does at its best, entering a prime exploration opportunity in deep water. You can think of BP's strategy as being in the world's best hydrocarbon provinces. In Australia, we've taken out a very large acreage position, more than 24,000 square kilometres, in the middle of a basin that we feel has the potential to be prospective. And that is a classic embodiment of that strategy. The combination of a very large Catracis age uh, delta system and evidence of working petroleum system really attracted the company to the area. And over a two year period, there was a team that evaluated all the data we could pull together that enabled the company to have real confidence in making a real bid to explore this area. So we bid a very large 3D survey over four key permits that we were interested in with a follow-on of four exploration wells. The Seduta project uh, is a very, very large marine ac seismic acquisition project. It's about 300 kilometers offshore and poses a big challenge because of its remote location in the Great Australian Bight. The Ramform Sterling PGS as a contractor was a perfect fit and the whole kit that's deployed is greater than 10 square kilometers in size. We've got 12 streamers separated by 120 meters each which is roughly a wedge of over 1.3 kilometers moving through the water. Additionally we have 8 kilometers of cable behind the, the vessel so we have this very large, well-equipped vessel. This is the largest moving man-made object on the planet. It operates 24 hours a day. Typically, we do a project, say, in the North Sea, and we might be out there for four or five weeks. This project, we're going to be here for six months just doing a, a single survey. Seismic data is critically important in the overall exploration process. The method can be pretty simply described as the generation of seismic energy through an air gun source. The seismic waves transmit into the earth and are reflected back to the surface by the layers in the subsurface. And we use very, very sensitive listening devices we call geophones and hydrophones to record the waves as they come back to the surface. That information is then loaded onto workstations and we have seismic interpreters who integrate that seismic image with other disciplines, geology, petrophysics, to create an overall prediction of the potential of hydrocarbons in the subsurface. We started processing the seismic on board the vessel and that the entire volume will be delivered here to the Sunbury offices. The exploration team is coming together. There are a number of explorers already on the team who are actively interpreting that data. So far the data has been very exciting. Um, it's revealed that the plays that were defined in the access phase um, are you know, still present and um, that there's exciting prospectivity in the basin. Um, so right now the team is just working to further define those plays and determine the best way to test them. We're looking forward to receiving the final process time volume. And once we get that data set, we'll really be able to move forward with our prospect generation work and be able to uh, start to understand what, what this basin truly has to offer and start to think about where we want to drill in the future years to come. If it does work, it would be a material hydrocarbon province. And that would change BP, it would change BP's position in Australia, it would change the Australian hydrocarbon market, and it would change our position with Asia Pacific. It is a fantastic uh, unknown region of the world. It's uh, got a great data set to be working on. There is nothing better in the industry if you want to be an explorer to be working on than exploring the Great Australian Bight today. Yeah.